It's so great to meet you. Yeah, likewise. Thank you. I've been looking forward to this for a while. And, and for those of you who may not, uh, who, who know your voice, but may not know your handsome face, tell everybody what hugely successful song you're known for. I wrote the Star Spangled Banner. <laughs> no, <I'm just> <laughs> <laughs> I wrote, sang, and produced, play that funky music, white boy. <laughs> so the most amazing thing is, it's been 41 years since 40. that song first went gold. Gee. And the most amazing thing is, I'm still white. <laughs> <laughs> I am too. It's, cra it's crazy. It's a small world, man. <laughs> it sure is. Now, tell me the whole story. What led to the writing of Play That Funky Music? Well, we were a rock band, and um, disco was coming in, and uh, the rock clubs were closing down. And um, the only place I could get work, we were a hard-working four, five, six nights a week. And um, everybody had cars, home, you know, stuff like that. And uh, as the rock clubs were closing down, the discos were opening up. And I told the fellas one night, we were playing in a disco. I took them back on a break. And I said, um, I can't book this band anymore unless we're going to start playing more dance music. Right. So um, we had had some people at this disco that we were playing, and they would come up. They'd say, white boys going to do any funky music? And they'd say, yeah, yeah, you know, we, we're working it out. So um, I finally told the guys, I said, how about if Led Zeppelin would do That's the Way I Like It? Yeah. So I walked out and wrote down exactly what was going on with us. I had the first two verses in the chorus written by the time I got to the stage. And I wrote the last verse in the car on the way home. That's amazing. Yeah, my joke's always been, if I knew how big that song was going to be, I would have stayed up that night and wrote 700 more songs. <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs>